We would like mommy to come home now, daddy. <laughs> What's the problem, Terrelson? I would like Please to sir. play Fortnite now, and daddy. I... <laughs> I Where's like my game. iPad, daddy? <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome back. Cole Phelps has a weird looking hand. <laughs> There's some, some strange about it. There's all lumps in the wrong places. I did it. Oh. It's all Jesus. taken apart. <gasps> oh, God. Whoa, my super eagle eyes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Phelps yeah, doesn't have I, any Snyder I, marks this time. He's got weird fingerprints. Yeah. They're on like the side of his fingers. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, yeah. yeah. I Phelps. Think, I think we got it, Phelps. Phelps, do you understand? <laughs> Really? <laughs> Do you understand this what we're looking at? This punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! <gasps> Clem! <laughs> I knew that, it was going to be him. Isn't that the chick from said, The Walking Dead? <laughs> well, that's Clementine. Yeah. She's a normal name. Oh. When they said the Ford Coupe, there was one parked outside this place when we left. God there was an option between two cars, cold. and you didn't take the Ford Coupe. Ah. Oh my god, that guy oh god, almost oh dove god. under my car. I'm to shoot out his tires. Wish me Whoa! Luck. Whoa! I think Rusty hey, just shot some random guy. Oh my god. Rusty just punched him when, that we had the sign. Chance, when we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Oh my god. Phelps, you gotta get me closer. Man. What is that? that oh my god! Right the fucking turning on this guy's pickup truck is unreal! What? <laughs> oh my god! Oh god, oh god, it's I think it's almost too perfect. perfect, isn't it? There's Ooh. no such thing as too perfect. Start shooting! Cole, spin him out! Spin him out! Ugh. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires! Get the fucking tire, yeah. you idiot! I got him! Right? He's done? Yeah, get out and rest him. He's done, he's done. Oh, man. I thought I was gonna fail that one for a second. You fruit stall owning motherfucker. You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Can I please just Ooh. punt him in the groin? Outstanding job on this case, <coughs> gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. Oh, that's it. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind him that crime in this city does not go unpunished. <laughs> when they <laughs> finish with him at the receiving <laughs> hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now... On your way. I'm going to drink heavily of this wine room. Yep, he is. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, kind of like him. Yeah, me too. He's just like, meh, fuck it, that's mine. Man, okay, perfect we case. rocked either in city damage, but I'm going to partly blame Clem for that one. With the body on his doorstep, the DA may look to send Clem Feeney to the gas chamber. It's always the goddamn <laughs> gas chamber with these people. Oh, my he comes God. comes the DA's like, gas chamber. Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? Who the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jab loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three. Bad juju? Where are you dragged up? A swamp? I choose Phelps, to believe this is, is nothing. This is how all soldiers talk. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're always sitting. Ar- you're always sitting around the barracks. Bad juju. Swamp. <laughs> Take a drag of a cigarette. You're just saying words that you think sound cool. I think that guy did it. Uh, you know what? You know what? I think you're onto something, Brandon. <laughs> he doesn't Man. look suspicious at all. <laughs> this was almost a case of traffic. Get him, Igor. <laughs> Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, <laughs> the fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. I'm just playing the print. All right. So I, I like the sound of the rain. Letter genuine? <laughs> now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles. Skipper! Ray Pinker will let us know in good time. All right. I just want to know how he gets away with saying it's a good day because someone's dead. Ah. Greetings from. No one wants to say no to him. When's it going to stop? I kind of like the rain. I need to go over the case notes. Uh. Yeah. Where the hell is uh, Rusty? Rusty? Uh, uh, Rusty. Up hey. there he is. Rusty, you're a little slow. How did he hear me? He was in Fun the building. Morning, indeed. Bukowski was always the in the car so much faster. Yeah, California. He almost always beat us there. Course. Yeah. As long as the bricks hold up at San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to send. First I don't, the letter, and I don't now think Bukowski body. was drunk on, usually. Can't keep on telling me there's not a killer no. still out there. He was no, a decent so cop. All these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man, Phelps. You can't always hit home runs. Sometimes you just gotta make first base. I kind of agree with Rusty on that one. The Brown Derby. Yeah, but we've been making bases really easily. Yeah, that's a good point. That's why we got promoted. Detectives, Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Scene secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. It's barely Thanks. raining. Informed. Will do, detective. But he's this soaked. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of son death. of a bitch. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m., but it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. Uh, Interesting. Is I'm of not- death is a clue. Is it not the same guy then? Interesting. Oh, there appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services oh. F1363. What a weird thing to leave on. Yeah, you normally rip those off. Yeah. Nothing. Yep, that's her hand. That's that's a hand, broken fingernails. Uh, missing, the- missing ring? No. No. Okay. For once, her hands don't look like somebody completely ripped the skin off. Uh, it, so. N- 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 no, I can't even check the body. There's nothing to check there, I guess. Huh. Okay. Um. What's over here? <clears throat> yep, that's the body again. And those yep, footprints those are, are slightly levitating, ones. yeah. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. Okay, I'm sure we're leaving our own footprints all over as well. Oh, what's this? I wonder what that little thing on the ground is. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Okay. 
I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that's it. Not I sure what gave that us white thing was. Yeah, I'm not sure what gave us that info. Five dollars. Five dollars. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be connected. Oh. I'll just put it in my pocket then. Cause that's like sixty dollars. Uh. Oh fuck! Who's this? I don't know. I was just going to the game well. Drives up, stops, gets out. It's Bukowski. Oh. Who yes, is? Who is this? Hey, who the fuck is this? Someone to ID the body? Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. You motherfucker. Okay. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Okay. Okay. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Okay. Okay. I believe that she saw that awful hobo. <laughs> Do you have a description? <laughs> Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. <laughs> they all follow him around. Lord of the hobos. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. I see. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. I kind of want to know what would happen. of the hobos. I kind of want to know what would happen if I called her a liar. Would I just be like, I don't think so. I think you're the murderer. And then just punch her in the face. Cuff her. What were you doing in this park last night looking at hobos? <laughs> were you murdering that woman? 1247. Was she a hobo? Did you murder that hobo? How could I help, detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services. 1260 West 1st Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, Detective. Can you give me the address of where hobos live? There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks for your help. Thanks, I'm gonna go talk to hobos now. Their testimony's gonna hold up in court. Yep, yeah. let's just take our favorite vehicle. The corners. Get out of the way. You can drive. Laundry right. or hobo? Where are we headed? You know what? I don't think the hobos are going anywhere. Let's go to the laundry service. Well, they you really don't have anywhere kidding. to go, right? We're driving this. I like Why that every time surprised? he has the same reaction. Yeah. He has the no same message. reaction every time. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the Vic. The last bodies had something written on them. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow you. Can't be the same guy as what I'm saying. Right, before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand? Jesus, Rusty. Can't, we can't be linking these murders together anyway. We've found out who did all of them. I mean, if they actually did all of them. Because the kills There's are so... Well, the thing is, the There's kills... There's so much proof. I know, but the kills are suspiciously similar. Yeah, people are fucked. At least the rain stopped. You can change back into those white bucks now. Talk to me. Jeez. I have Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating of a case, and one of their laundry labels came up. <laughs> F1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register, and you can take a look. This sounds like an Asian guy who speaks perfect English, trying to be it stereotypically kinda, kinda Asian. for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. Yeah, he's not doing a good job. <laughs> you wrote the number down on that dress, is it there? Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh... uh you just we're said looking what? for the... <sighs> fuck, what was her name? Give, give me a second. Uh, 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 laundry uh, yeah. Laundry label. One F1 three six. Okay, F one three six. F one three six. F one three six. F one three six three. No, is that is that not the one? Yeah, it's the green dress. Go to the end and go to the green dress part and click yeah. it. I, are you are you too low? 
Are you? Oh. Yeah. Mrs. T. Terrelson, 43 Emerald Street, Westlake. Mrs. T. Terrible name. Okay. I'm stumped. Ideas? N no, I want to talk to him. The husband has to save for Fuck's sake. God damn it. Nope. To the okay. house. Yeah, but what if I want to go to the hobo camp? House or hobos? All right, hold That's on. That's not our car. You're behind the now. wheel. And where exactly are we uh, going? Uh, hobos. I think we ought Large, to investigate the camp. hobo lead. Now, if you think we ought to, I guess we uh, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god He's damn broken. it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh for fuck's sake. Rusty, just get in, Rusty. Just, <laughs> Rusty. 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 Get in. What do they think of this? They're not even looking. How do I... How do I back out of this? <laughs> hey! He could go in the whole time! for a tall, disfigured man <laughs> <at the> camp. <laughs> Could be difficult. Most bums look deformed to me. Come on, Rusty. This isn't gothic fiction. Hobos are just like you or me. They're just men who've fallen on hard times. You ain't much of a detective, Phelps, if you think a hobo's Don't like me. an optimist all Clue the time. number one. How do I smell? Of alcohol and stale sweat. You know, I may be on to something here. Very funny, Phelps. Oh, oh. Yeah, I don't oh, think Rusty a hobo. I don't think Rusty showers very much. I think he just drinks and beats women. All right. Are those the, then... are those the gate guards of the hobo land? That's how we're going to park today. I guess that's acceptable. Fuck. <laughs> my wife. I'm the one. And nobody cares about we're looking for a tall man with a disfigured face. You know him? Huh? What? I fought in two wars, you know, son. I think I earned some peace and quiet. Ah, uh, the bum isn't here. Look at these people. We should follow the only lead. These guys can wait. We're gonna give up that easy? Can I just go in? Move out of the way, hobo man. Yeah, fuck you. What the fuck? Calling you stupid would be an insult to stupid people. Have, You're a homeless person. They have barbed wire. Hey, fuck you! That's that guy from the paper. Jesus. <laughs> They're so loud. Uh, I'm just looking. The game kind of tried to ward us away, but we can walk through anyway, so. I like that guy. This guy? You're my favorite hobo. I'm out of here. Aww. He, that I, was my favorite hobo. It was still playing while he was talking for a second. <laughs> he, it's also levitating in his hand, but you know. Uh, you got a problem, pal? Just harassing all the hobos. He is my favorite hobo. All right, uh, I guess we're going here Can you later. Go this one? Nope, that's the end uh, of that investigation. You oh. scratched it out already. Okay. Somebody I... said. <laughs> Hold on. And Phelps gave up. When I need to come back here later. Is he going to erase the line he put over it without erasing the stuff I've under it? I've got a feeling we're about to meet another <laughs> life. Rusty <laughs> immediately <laughs> hit something. Yeah, and it's usually correct. <laughs> please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic types show a particular disposition for this stuff. What huh? is he talking about? You know what assumptions mean. That it must be the murderer. It's whoever Rusty said it was. That what? guy's got a boat. And got some boats have that kind of role. music. All right, let's check the boat before we go in. Are we allowed? Bing bong. Yeah. Looks like it's a been match cut. The ligature marks. Um, okay. They're painting that boat. Hi. That person sitting inside with two other human beings who look like they may be children. Hi. I don't like we're, that guy. We're making direct eye contact with him. <laughs> no, he looked away so he could smoke. Ah, <laughs> uh, is uh, is anyone else in this house? I just, Sir, I really. Sir, is your wife home? I want oh, one wait, of those moments. <laughs> <laughs> I just want one of those moments. Oh, we're allowed in the back door. I just want one of those moments, like from traffic again. Oh, what's with our foot? One of those moments from traffic again where we like talk to a person we're not supposed to. Ah! You just try the door. 
Yeah. Hmm, maybe I'll go in the back. Oh. oh, I heard a bing bong. What the hmm. hell? A fishing lure. Not everything here is going to be relevant. What's but this? What about? Oh, he's got like a, the, not much yeah, a reel. Yeah. It's a reel. What weird rod. things to have just on the ground there. But where's the rod? They have the reel and the lure, but not the rod. Maybe that was the murder weapon. It's covered in blood. A fishing pole? Yes. Whoa. Uh, why did they leave why teddy bears there outside? Front? Size eight? We're not even going to check? Okay. Your father fucking sucked. Clean up your toys. Hi. <laughs> He's standing at the door. <laughs> I thought he closed the door. <laughs> See? Man, playing ding dong ditch must rule with this guy. <laughs> he just stands there. Hello? Oh! Yes. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Yeah. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. His wife is dead. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. Bob Ross? She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. I was hoping I could walk around to the back door. Oh, hey, kiddo. Someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton. I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry. The Why girls are girl smiling, smiling into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mom's dead? I know cool. This is a difficult time, Mr. Tarleton, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that... procedure. You see to your girls. See to your daughters. You're probably going to prison. What? I, we. I want to go watch he, TV. <laughs> but did. But did. I don't. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking. More to get in trouble. Where's mommy? Everything's gonna be all Dad. right, sweetheart. We would like mommy to come home now, Daddy. <laughs> What's the problem, Terrelson? I would like I'm to sorry. play Fortnite now, I'm Daddy. <laughs> I don't Where's like my game. iPad, Daddy? <laughs> 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 I want a cat, Dad. <laughs> hmm. No, I wanted to pick up the New Testament. Know. Oh, it didn't let me this time. I want to play Minecraft, Daddy. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Minesweeper, and I was going to say Wrong Generation, <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> As if anything we're saying is the right generation for right now. I want to watch people play Check Apex Legends, like Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. That, God, that, that might be old by the time this episode comes out. <laughs> I got PUBG on my phone, Daddy. <laughs> you remember when everyone played PUBG? Ooh, that one died. <laughs> that was a big <laughs> year. Uh. I wonder why the picture was turned down. <laughs> <laughs> I like these kids. This is like one of the, my favorite yeah. parts of this game. <laughs> yeah, these kids went from really shit to really funny when we started writing their dialogue. <laughs> I'm sorry. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. Try opening it, you fucking idiots. Her purse on the ground in the bedroom. Why am I allowed to use the phone right now? What am I calling in? I don't know. Do it. Where is it? I think it's on the table. I want a new smartphone, daddy. <laughs> the policeman touched this phone. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we saw the fucking matchbook. God, the matchbook is like every clue in this game. Hi. Go away unless you can bring my mommy home. Fuck you. excuse me, ladies. Uh, <laughs> incidental. Incidental. Go away, you old fucking fogey. I'm watching me. Fortnite. <laughs> Are they just staring at each other? These kids look evil. 
It was the kids who did it. Hold on, can I pick <laughs> up? Their mom took away their iPad and they just <laughs> fucking went to town. Fucking kids nowadays. Another purse? Oh, but I oh, can open, open this, this one. one. There you go. Without her handbag? Oh, is there a couple things in there you can look at? I think. She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. She mm. weighs exactly a hundred. A hundred what? I don't know. I she was spared that particular indignity. Yeah. Yeah, if wearing lipstick. Yeah. Gross. Ooh. Uh. Oh, we care about this again, do we? I was got mud. Always the shoes. Always size eights. We could see if Pinker can match the impression of the I, crime scene. That's going to be something later on in the game for sure. I think that one is a red herring. The size eights. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to. I think the size eights is going to be a thing. Hey. Lars was out in the rain last night. Yeah. He must be a murderer. <gasps> he was outside when it was raining. I want to go find mommy now. Well, good luck. Okay, kid. Okay, I'll take you to where she is. I'm bringing my iPhone so I can find mommy. Where's my mom? There's a lot of dialogue for them. Where's my mom? I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. <laughs> I just want more of their dialogue. Wait, were we wearing the brown suit for the last case? Oh, I think we were. Got to change in the kitchen. Uh, right they, in front won't, of those kids. they won't talk to us anymore. And after this, they won't have any reason to. Have we? What? Is there any of them that we haven't worn? I don't. I, think I don't so. know I if we've worn them. this. The sunset strip we did wear, yeah. Oh, I think that might have been the first suit we were wearing. Oh no, the Broderick was the first one we were wearing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. This is sad. We've worn all the suits. Where is this fucking phone? Am I blind? It's right there, yeah. Oh, there it is. Phelps, buy a new phone. Please, there's a, I mean, there's a private call. For KGPL. My mouth didn't move. Putting you through now. Uh, Phelps badge 1247. Uh, <laughs> How could I help, detective? Can you run an address for a... Oh, there, oh, we, there go. we go. Then send some uniforms over. I need Would to know like where Bob to Ross that? lives. No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thank you. We need to get Bob Ross. <laughs> uh, why, Phelps? I need a new picture for my house. I like to think those girls are watching Bob Ross on Twitch. For the that record, they could Mr. be. Charleston, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Okay. What size shoe do you wear? Any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. Got full of life now. That seems fine. Uh. Okay. I think that might just be him being upset. Yeah, yeah. I'll say yes. Okay. So you don't Shit. know anyone who's oh. dead? No, I don't. Ooh, Interesting. Shit. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right. Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. And you uh, didn't go there? He looks frustrated. Oh, yeah, there's something going on here. Doubt? Yeah. You let your drunk wife yep. leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. A bar down where? North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I Holy fuck, all these women drink a lot. Yeah. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. You don't think she was. You don't, yeah, you don't think, think she was. Um, she went to the bar last night and didn't bring her purse. Yeah, that is weird, isn't it? Um, but I was hoping I we, we just... I was hoping we'd have an evidence. I guess it'd be a stupid thing to put in evidence, but I was kind of hoping there'd be the the picture face down. Yeah. Um, the doubt. Yeah. Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. 
She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until 9. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30, maybe a little earlier. What the fuck is Galloway? When was the last time you saw your wife? I don't know. Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. I don't believe that. Oh, but he's looking pretty know. straight. It's a pretty honest face. He really went to bed before knowing where his wife was? What about the jacket? The wet jacket? He was at the party. Oh, yeah. Would have to go outside, right? Maybe he's dumb and didn't bring an umbrella, you know? I'd say truth on that one. He looks pretty honest. I don't know. He looks so honest, but I feel like that's bullshit. I'm going to say it's truth. All right. That's fine. Why did you only report Shit. your wife missing this morning? What? I thought she would have called up last night from the bar. That's Thanks fucking ridiculous. All right, I'm shit at this game now. Downtown to identify your wife's body. Oh, she last one was good. Now I'm shit. In my experience, Mac, if you give in to broads, you'll be giving in to them your entire life. Sounds like the Terrelson broad had her last drink at Baron's Bar. We should check the place. Fuck. Out. Ah, shit. I was thinking maybe an intuition because I think you can Appreciate only store up to five, but you I'm not sure. This guy's story kind of rings fuck, true. Fuck. Fuck. All right, Rusty. Scooch over. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Fuck. Now I'm mad. I didn't want to lose that one. I know. We We're probably, at 50%. We probably missed out on some good info. God. Why didn't the girls tell us anything? I don't know. How is it only 1 p.m. and it's this fucking dark? It's raining. That's one heck of a Why are there this many people drinking at 1 p.m.? Uh, that's a good question. Because the 40s? Gents, oh, that's fucking wicked. Oh, uh, that's pretty Galloway, cool. Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. It's about Teresa That's Carroll's not a story. name. Right. Yes, it is. All right, Benny Clough. <laughs> They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? Who does he look God like? Damn it. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. I don't know. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. He okay, looks like, fucking calm down, Phelps. He looks like that... that... comedian who played the fat comic relief teenager in every movie for, like, three years. Like... I can't help you. What was the name of the movie? Super Bad? I think he was in the, the commercials for Super Bad. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around, uh... 10.30, I think. Some guy from when we were in high school. Uh... Seems fine, right? Yeah. Hold on. W when was the death? The death. Okay, was yeah, at two a.m. Okay, yeah, that's fine. On foot, in a car, by bus. How was it? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure, I did. I like Teresa. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. Thank you. Wait. Why is every bartender like this? I, I don't know. They're just the nicest people in the world. An APB on the cab. Two Ryan Ice, one Manhattan, one Gin Ricky, Teresa, yellow cab. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here. But nothing to fit that description. Up. Oh. Much like the previous bartender, I think he's doubting himself more than <laughs> yeah. we doubt him. Yeah. You want, you want to go doubt on this one? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking doubt on this one. The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Benny. All right, two creeps were all over her. Promising to take her dancing. You get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uniform. His cap said, uh... USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. Nice. Red polo shit. Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. 
He was going dancing, you fucking idiot. But now you look like you're telling me the truth. I don't yeah. fucking know. Tr truth? But he said she was... Uh, fuck, I don't know. I guess truth. The husband said she wanted okay. to go dancing. What the fuck? Yeah, she always it's wants so to dance you. when she's been drinking. She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. No, they I were talking her, her into going. We'll take it from here. Can't we have hey, a no street problem. story from anybody? This is Bates. Oh, what a piece of shit. Him. That's the LAPD. most. LAPD. Don't make me chase you. That is bird. the most punchable face I've ever Can't seen in my goddamn life. God Why would you way. yell it? Why wouldn't you walk by? Go, and make it look like walking it. by him. And then be like, you hey, you. Gotta fuck ride. wad. Get in and drive. Eh. Oh, it forced me into the car. Okay. I thought wow. you were going to leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered. We could have a killer on our hands. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Get out of my way. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar. Uh, the Less than a creature of habit oh, no. is killer. For don't some break. reason, they're sticklers. Oh, no. Time. That might be game. That's game. His car's fading. Oh, no. Maybe I'll cut it off. He, I can see him. I can see him, yeah. Oh, oh fuck. Come on, Phelps. You're letting this lust get away from you. No, don't turn again, you piece of shit. <laughs> oh, don't my God. Don't sleep on me. Get me back in close. <laughs> Why does every criminal drive that same pickup truck? Oh, holy shit. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Okay, Wish a tire popped. Lie. I heard it. Whoa! Oh my god! Let's end this farce. All right. All His right, whole car go. fucking exploded I, there. I, show me your hands. <laughs> he lost like okay, three base. tires, the hood, a, a, a door from one bullet. This. Oh my god! This guy's face is so fucked up. <laughs> Last night you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead, and your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. Yeah, his face Are is clearly finished? pretty fucked up. You've got a like, fucked up face, dude. He's like melting Ron Perlman. What's with this guy? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, this guy's face. Holy shit. Have you ever seen someone give you more attitude than this? <laughs> All right. Okay. Yes, hold on. Unfortunately, uh, last night you were drinking, lady in the bar. Now she's dead, and your face is all messed up. That has nothing to do with this. That his face is messed up. That's just how he looks. Prefer to say, like, you can lay off. Are we finished? Ah, uh, it's... it's doubt, right? I guess, yeah. Do you want my partner to sap you? Tell oh us my God! What what? To know she was okay, drunk. Pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd ply her with a few drinks and get my end away. Looks like your salty had the same idea. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. I don't trust literally anything this man has to say to us. Yeah, I mean, like the amount of attitude and like the scoffing and everything. Yeah. Doubt, I guess. Yeah, I guess. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Jesus. Look, I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Nice private chat. I'll explain my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. <laughs> Central. He's a I'll have the chief beat case. the shit out of you. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. So his name is Dick Bates. <laughs> <laughs> and on oh. that bombshell, until next time, have a nice day. <laughs> See ya.